Hi everyone, this is Richard. It's taken me a long time to try to figure out how to organize this. Flutter seems to be, I don't know, the best way I could think of it is, you know when it rains, it you know, rain comes a little bit down at a time. This seems like it's a massive flood that comes down and hits you all at once. And you can't really understand one thing without understanding everything else at the same exact time. So that's a problem. So it's kind of like picking me up, putting me in some foreign language and saying, start learning the language. But it's even worse because if you were learning a foreign language, at least you could get the gist of it, right? And you'd be a little bit off and people will be very forgiving and understand and help you along the way, right? Um, here, no, you can't be good enough. You have to be perfect. So with programming, you can't make any mistakes in the syntax, or if you do, it's not going to run. So this is what's holding me up here a little bit. So what I'm going to do is we've gone over the stateless widget, the very simple syntax. Let's go over several of these examples of these widgets, and maybe we'll understand a little bit more and we'll build up from there. Okay, so we'll get a good base of the widgets themselves and build up from there. Okay, and we'll go for stateful widgets. Yeah, it may be a long time. All right, but let's, let's take it one by one. When I go over to this place, basic widgets, it says um, widgets you absolutely need to know before building your first Flutter app. Okay, I guess our definition of basic, the documenters here and mine are a little bit different. Okay, because the basic app uh, uh, widget is going to be the material app widget. Because and, and nowhere is it particularly well documented what this is. What this material app widget seems to be not exactly, but almost a requirement into the root widget because it's the framework for building mobile web, mo mobile applications here. You, um, I, I hear some, I see some references that, that you don't have to use it, but every single example I've seen, you have to use it. So this is going to be the most basic widget here. All right. So we have the material app, I thought it wasn't the basic one. It, it, it basically it is. You don't have to use it every time, but for for our purposes, yes, you do. Um, we're gonna have a title again, and at the home is where the widget gets inserted into the material app. So material app isn't a widget in terms of something rendering here. It's more of a structural type of widget. So in other words, it's the building block and saying, okay, this is the framework and every child you put inside of here every separate widget it's going to be part of the material app and the material app design and it's basically a design set by a certain set of guidelines on how to make so that's why you have some consistency how to make a, a mobile application with with consistent look and feel okay so we'll make the title and we're going to learn about this one very basic right here, okay? It's going to be the text widget. Okay, so that should be the simplest, right? So title is gonna be hello app, and then the text properties. It's the, um, it's the text right inside here, and that's all I really need. So if I comment everything out, and go ahead and run it, it's going to say, well, let's do a full reload. Well, that's basically going to be the same thing. Okay, so um, I comment that out. It says, hello world. How are you? I am fine. Okay. We can add some more properties onto it. We could say overflow. What does overflow mean? When it goes beyond one line, what are we going to do? Here we said fade. Other options include clip. Let's see what that does. Hmm. Okay, let's see what ellipsis says. There we go. Okay, that actually changes something right here. So it'll change the words right inside here. Use these dot, dot, dot from here on. Okay, and another property would be text align. We can align left. What is this going to show? Probably the same. We can align Right. I don't think it's going to change too, too much. Okay, so it'll just be hello world and it's just going to shift it on over. There are some other things, um, other properties for this. 
They're listed right inside of here. Um, the max number of lines you can do. Um, if you're going to insert new text inside of here, um, uh, soft wrap um, and text direction. So th this is basically these are just the basics right inside of here. So very simple widget for the text. Let's keep going and start looking at some of the other widgets and see what they actually do. But the same concept will probably be there for all of them. Okay, thanks.